We live in a world of great diversity, spread across many nations. We seek direction and a better way to live. And to this end, we follow an approach or a set of principles to guide us. In Islam, God has established five principles which define the framework for the Muslim life. These principles are better known as the five pillars of Islam. Each pillar upholds a duty which is obligatory upon every able-bodied Muslim. The first and most important pillar of Islam is the testimony of faith. It's a simple yet powerful declaration which forms the basis of Islam. And it means there is no God worthy to be worshipped except for God and Muhammad is the messenger. It's a universal declaration which forms the essence of every Muslim believer. The second pillar in Islam is prayer. God has commanded the Muslims to pray five times a day. So five times a day, Muslims as worshippers drop whatever they're doing, wherever they are, to perform the prayer. And in fact, the prayer is a direct link with God, the only one worthy of worship. It only takes a few minutes, but through it, a person can attain real happiness and inner peace. That's because in Islam, the prayer nourishes the mind and soul like food and water would nourish the body. With prayers being performed around the clock and Muslims all over the world in different hemispheres and different time zones, at any given one moment, you'll always find that there is somebody somewhere performing the prayer to God. The third pillar in Islam is giving the obligatory charity. This pillar deals with our responsibility towards the society that we live in. Each year, every Muslim who possesses wealth above a defined poverty line is required to pay 2.5% of their wealth towards those who are in need or poor. Paying this charity is a way of purifying one's wealth whilst also supporting those in difficulty. The system of giving this charity is comprehensively described in the Quran. Imagine if every person paid 2.5% of their wealth to those who are in need, poverty could easily be eradicated. The fourth pillar in Islam is fasting during the daylight hours of the lunar month of Ramadan. In this very special month, the fasting person, for the sake of God alone, not only abstains from basic comforts of life like food and drink, but also from doing anything that is displeasing to God. That means things like losing your temper with people, or lying, or backbiting, or even taking part in foul talk. Besides the fact that Fasting is great for your health. It also allows the fasting person to be at one with and sympathize with all those people around the world who are suffering from hunger and poverty. But at the same time, it's a golden opportunity to really strengthen that essential relationship with our Creator. The final pillar of Islam is Hajj, which is the annual pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia. It's a huge spectacle of millions of Muslims from all over the world gathering together to worship God the Almighty over a five-day period. All Muslims are required to perform the pilgrimage at least once in their lifetime, as long as they're physically fit and financially able to do so. Male pilgrims only wear two simple white cloths around their body, which strip away any distinction of class or culture as they stand equal before God, to the point that a millionaire could be praying next to a poor man and no one would know the difference. The five pillars of Islam uphold what is virtuous to every believer who submits to God's will. Muslims from all over the world are united in trying to fulfill these pillars to the best of their ability so that they may earn God's pleasure and mercy and in the end enter paradise, a life of eternal happiness.